hi everyone in this video we are going to talk about the journal which are related to education domain okay so uh, today we are going to talk about the paid and unpaid journals which are related to education before we proceed i'd like to tell you that this is my channel and in my channel you can see the playlist my channel name is Gomes Tech Talks and here you can see the playlist called SCI Scopus NX1 UGC CAT WOS Index Journal where you can find more than um, 40 videos okay and you can also see that every most of the videos they it, I'll be covering almost many domains okay like um, st starting from engineering, uh, social sciences, English, everything. Okay. So the first journal is the Journal of Information Technology Education Research, which is by the publisher is what Informing Science Institute. So this journal is since 2011, so we can directly go ahead for that. So if you click that, you can find more information about this particular journal. And if you click on article submission, okay, so you can see that publication fees no charge for article submission and no charge for publication for isa members which means that you have to become an isa member here so if you uh, become an isa member if you just click on become a journal member you can see that they are costing only 75 dollars okay so once if you become an um isa member you can use utilize this journal for one year okay not only this journal under this is that is under this publisher under the informing science institute publisher you have various journals okay most of the journals are indexed in scopus and you can publish in all these journals so um if you take like 75 dollars okay so 75 dollars it will approximately cost you only 6011 uh, 115 rupees so uh, i think you can just go ahead with this before you uh, proceed you just cross check in the scopus database whether it is since what are the journal which you are uh, checking under the informing science institute publisher check whether it is there in scopus okay so next journal which we are going to talk about is what second language research and here you can see that what all the subject area and this journal is since 1985 so once if you go to the submission guidelines you can see there are no fees payable to submit or publish the, on this journal and the average time to first decision was 31 days and the average time to the final decision is what 48 days okay so though this journal have only four issues a year okay so they are uh, giving you the proper response okay only four issues a year but they are giving you the response within 30 days okay and they are publishing within um, next 48 days or something so here you can also consider anyhow go and check for the aim and the scope what role whether they're accepting the research uh, research journals whether they're accepting only the review journals so everything you have to anyhow check cross check with your scopus index database whether it is really uh, till accepted by the scopus okay and how, how many words they are accepting for the research article research notes review articles okay everything you have to check for got it so next we are going to talk about eurasia journal of mathematics science and technology education this is since 2006 to present and they are covering education and mathematics so if you just scroll down you can see that these are all the information about the um journal okay if you just click on for authors you can find the article processing fee if you click on the article processing fee you can see that you have to pay 975 dollars as a article processing fee so 975 dollars which is nearly 79,499 rupees okay so in eurasia journal you have to pay this and other than that if you want to know more about this journal you can find 
what is the submission guidelines so this is the complete su- submission guidelines and if you wanted to know about the publication or like how many public publish that is sorry how many uh, what is the frequency of that particular uh, journal you can find it here okay that is every month they are publishing that is 12 issues a year okay uh so other than that if you wanted to know more about the journal scope and everything you can go ahead and click here okay so you can find more about in the other so you can find it about aim and scope and everything fine so the next one is what contemporary educational technology so this is since 2018 in scopus and these are all the uh scope of the journal and if you click on this source home page it will re- take you to this page okay so you can submit this is contemporary inter- okay this is a journal they are publishing on january april july and october so this is for this particular uh, journal that is the october uh, release okay so you can go and check here for the article processing fee for the contemporary contemporary te- educational technology if you see there is no article processing charge for contemporary educational technology okay and uh, you can find if you have if they if they have any special issue you can also check that okay okay this is for the special issue okay so you can find the, the information about the special issue here and other than that if you wanted to know more about the aim and the scope of the journal okay if you want to submit it you can submit it even now okay any time you can submit it click submit it it will take you to a particular uh, uh, web page where you can uh, see it will ask you you have to sign up first and then publish it so i hope you find this video useful uh, if you have any doubt related to research please post it i'll be definitely helping you out thank you take care bye bye